Dzień dobry, Kasienka! Oh, Kasia, are you ready to experience some Warsaw history? Yes, I am. Dzień dobry! Uh, today's video is going to be a little different than the usual, although what really is a normal video for me? Let's be real. I saw this exhibition recently at Halakoshiki called, um, you know what, let me look it up, I want to pronounce it right. Okay, so in Polish it's called Kartka Powstania, in English, Letters from the Uprising. And it's a virtual reality film, so they put this headset on you and you are now a part of the Warsaw Uprising in World War II. It was just insane, like so cool. Not that cool is really the right word to describe an immersive experience of a devastating battle, but I hope you're following me here. I decided to go back and take my roommate Kasia and just kind of treat it as a learning experience because you can't really move to Poland and just ignore the history. So Kasia's a huge history gal, so I thought she was the perfect person to go with and here's how it went. going to cry. I think I might cry a little bit. So we're going to an exhibit called Kartka, Kartka z Powstania. Kasia, can you uh -huh. translate that? Kartka z Powstania? No, that was great. I don't have to. You don't have to translate? No! So it's a virtual reality film about the Warsaw Uprising following a group of insurgents that are fighting together. And I wanted to bring you, Kasia, because you know more about Polish history than anyone I know. Or at least you talk about it more than anybody that I know. Yeah. Like my both grandma. Uh, spent uh, time in Warsaw Uprising. One was in Uprising because she was 15 well. at the time. I think 15. And second one was uh, like 11 years old there. So uh, there's like two perspectives. One of the civil and one of the, let's say, warrior. <laughs> so now let's make the facts straight. Mm -hmm. One, the warrior grandma, uh, that's Babcianinka. Second one, kid Babcia. Uh, that's Babcia Marysia. <laughs> no, every, please remember Emma. Of course. So it's very oh. close to home. Yeah. <gasps> kids that our kids are, you know, 20 years old who died in uh, Warsaw Insurrection. We call them now uh, like flower people or something like that because we really feel and we teach kids in school mm. that they were the coolest uh, age group in our uh, society. Best poets, the most beautiful people, they were the funniest, like their jokes were the best. <laughs> we were reading about them uh, in schools and they were just hilarious. Hmm. Uh, so we lost all of that and additionally whole city. It makes so much sense learning about the history and all of the like trauma, the yeah. generational trauma that Polish people have specifically in Warsaw. But yeah. it's such a cold, like it would be a more cold culture. Yeah. It's a wonder that you guys aren't mean on a person to person <laughs> basis. Like it's incredible. It's taken such a toll on Polish people. So it's just it's really deep. Welcome on the exhibition. Before the film, I want to give a voice to heroes from Warsaw Uprising. To jest nowa technologia. Możecie mieć nią problem. Dlatego nie bądź przykro, zapytaj o wszystko. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Everything is great. Everything is good. Okay, so I'm not a big like gamer girl, um, don't have a lot of experience with virtual reality. So this film was insane to me. I've never seen anything like it before and it's just crazy. Like you're basically a member of this group of insurgents in the middle of the uprising. And there are times when someone will look at you and be like expecting you to do something. And in that moment, I was just like, shit. So it makes the experience really stressful and it feels very, very real. 
So the whole story kind of ends up centering around this letter that this man who was fighting in the uprising got from his daughter. I'm not gonna say exactly how because I feel like it's kind of a spoiler, but it was so well done. Like the way that the story came together, I got chills. I teared up at a couple parts. And this next part, I'm embarrassed. You'll see. Okay, I cried that time. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's so intense. Um, like after living here for a while and meeting Polish people and being like having friends and family here now, it's like understanding everything that this city and its people have been through really. It's really intense. That was incredible. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't think I was gonna cry. <laughs> I cried. I cried at first. It was so emotional. Mm -hmm. And looking at the, you know, at the horse up there. It was so sad. I can't believe that this is the kind of stuff that you guys like you're carrying so much as a culture and like your parents and your grandparents growing up hearing these stories, it's just so heavy. I can't believe it. You guys should be mean all the time. <laughs> Whatever I'm can yeah. be mean to you. <laughs> You can be meaner to me, it's okay. okay. Right. Uh, so thanks for coming with me. You thanks for thinking. Maybe not enjoyed it, but I don't know. Good cry. Good cry. It's time for help. Yeah, it's time for help. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. That was a lot of feelings. <laughs> So anyway, I said I had nothing else to say, but as soon as we left, Halako Shiki Kasha and I just kept talking about this exhibition for most of the day. It's just the first thing. They specifically used uh, uprising people mm -hmm. to do that. And this is just so sweet and so thoughtful. And we all were like, I started crying first. <laughs> really? Before like the movie they, even started, yes, tearing up. Yeah. Yes, totally. Mm -hmm. Would I recommend it to my dad? Yes, oh. he'd love that. Okay, obviously I was watching the English version. My Polish uh -huh. isn't good enough for that yet. <laughs> we're getting there. I think if there are any like, expats or people visiting Warsaw, people who live here and want to understand more of why this culture is the way it is and how important this uprising was to Warsaw, like absolutely go see it. It was just, I can't, I can't say enough about how intense and powerful that whole thing was. I was shaking after yeah. that. You feel like you're actually in it. Like I have no idea how that even make- But you can't say anything. Yeah. Like a bad dream. This feeling of, oh my god, I need to help these people and I need to move. It's that realistic. I can't recommend enough to go see it, yeah. honestly. It was crazy. They did an incredible job. <laughs> Okay, so, so from your point of view, when you yeah. are watching it, who was your character? Like this additional guy who was like speaking differently, who was from Silesia, mm -hmm. and for me that was a great touch. And you had the Texas guy. Yeah. Uh, um, Wasn't that weird? It was just funny because it felt like I could relate to it. Yeah. Like someone was like, oh, he's from Texas, and she, the girl turns around and is like, what? from Texas, what is he doing here? And I was like, that's how I feel whenever I tell someone that I'm from the US. And they're like, what are you doing in Warsaw? So yeah. I was like, I relate to this character. He's like, I hate Nazis too, ma'am. Like he said it in a Texas accent. So for me, that was the sad, uh, sad part that you had this funny. Yeah, it was like comedic relief yeah. for me. So the Polish and English version yeah. was slightly different experiences. But there was like in uh, Uprising, we had one that was that's the big deal for us mm -hmm. we had one black appraiser whoa and yeah this guy he was like super courageous german can be like oh that's this guy mm -hmm. because you can clearly see him he lived through uh war surprising it was just this one guy and he was like oh i hate nazi too let's go, <laughs> let's go. We all hate nazis. the theme is that we all mm -hmm. hate nazis Okay, so we tried to explain how it felt to watch that, but honestly, half of the time that I turned on the camera, I was just speechless. And I think I said it in the video earlier, but just in case, go see it. 
If you're Polish, it's gonna hit really close to home and maybe take an emotional support pal with you. <laughs> if you're like me and you're just an outsider kind of like participating in this culture for a while, definitely go see it. Take the time to go put yourself in the shoes of the people that you're living around during this time. I loved this exhibition. I would love to see more like it in the future. And I know that y'all love to give recommendations. So if you know of anything similar to this or that you think I might enjoy, please let me know. And I would love to take the time to go see it and learn some more about this place I'm living right now. So let me know, proszę i dzięki. Let me know if you plan to go see this exhibition, if you have seen it. I would really love to know about your experience. Dzięki za oglądanie i do zobaczenia.